just months after uh, Chelsea Manning's legal counsel formally uh, filed a position with the Barack Obama administration uh, in order to commute her sentence, by the way, which is one of the harshest sentences or the harshest sentence. She got 35 years for uh, what she did. Um, thanks to the, the, the court trying to make an example of her. Um, now, today, of course, the big news is that uh, she... Uh, has now been commuted of her sentence. President Barack Obama has said, okay, look, you have served enough, time to go, in about five months. So, look, he eliminated pretty much most of her sentence, um, and now she'll be uh, getting out in May of this year. So this is, this is big, a few more months, and she'll actually get her freedom back, uh, freedom that she should have had uh, in the first place. But, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. And again, you know, let, let's let's point out again, this is very breaking news. So yes. uh, this is very fresh. I I mean, I, I saw an article in The Times uh, that, that uh, somebody posted on Facebook. That was my first uh, mm -hmm. knowledge of it. And I saw that article for the first time about an hour ago. Um, so and I'm not sure how old it was. But yeah, this is very fresh uh, very, breaking yeah. news. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're doing it live. We're, we're doing it live. So... So but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, yeah, what else can you say right now? But that's amazing. That is awesome. And, you know, this is one situation as you're thinking about Barack uh, Obama leaving. And, you know, I, I actually tweeted and, and I said, look, you did the right thing here. Yeah, you, you know, you've done a lot of things I've disagreed with, a lot of things I did agree with. Um, right. But uh, you really did the right thing here and, and thinking about what's ahead. Uh, Obama will be very missed. <laughs> I mean, when you compare it to what's coming in. Well, yeah, especially when you compare it to what's coming in. And now, look, I'm going to give uh, Barack Obama a lot of credit here, but I'm also going to be like, hey, maybe like maybe you could do a little bit more. Uh, and by sure. more, I mean Edward Snowden. I mean, this mm -hmm. is, of course, it, Edward Snowden is is missing from this conversation. And while it's amazing, it's awesome that it's great that he commuted the sentence. He did the right thing. He literally may have just saved her life. But at the same time, you also have uh, Edward Snowden out there that, you know, he's literally hanging in the cold. Like, he's stuck in Russia. He cannot leave. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's not a place where you want to be, <laughs> especially now. Um, I want to read to you a little bit from the New York Times, who wrote about this. And this is this, this was what makes it a little bit more difficult to think that Barack Obama, while doing the right thing about Chelsea Manning and, and all the credit in the world, He's still not quite there on, 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 uh, on Edward Snowden. In fact, Josh Ernest, White House pre uh, spokesperson, said that there was actually a pretty stark difference between Mrs. Manning's case, or Miss Manning's case, sorry, uh, than there is to, with, with Mr. Snowden. He said, quote, while their offenses are similar, there were some important differences. Chelsea Manning is someone who went through the military criminal justice process, was exposed to due process, was found guilty, and was sentenced for her crimes, incredibly harshly, by the way, and also said she acknowledged wrongdoing. Mr. Snowden fled into the arms of an adversary and sought a refuge in a country that most recently made a concerted effort to undermine confidence in our democracy. So, no, what's, what's interesting about that <clears throat> is that uh, Edward Snowden came out after Chelsea Manning, after seeing her get basically you know, the book thrown at her, was like, ooh, yeah, I don't want to go through that. Where's the justice here in our justice system? I'm going to try to get out of here. And, of course, he ends up in Russia, which is now conveniently a political adversary. I'm not saying Russia is innocent. I'm not saying Putin's innocent of anything. But I'm saying that right now what the media is doing, you know, with the leaks and stuff, they're making Russia an already an adversary even in, into an, an even bigger adversary. Uh, for the purpose, I think, of politics. Um, and, and that's just very kind of a very simple overview of what I think about the Russian situation. Again, not a fan of Putin. <laughs> not a fan right. of any of that. And, and did they do propaganda? I definitely believe they did try to do propaganda to influence the election. Uh, but that said, who knows? Like, I don't really think the WikiLeaks... Um, if it even was released, you know, uh, uh, hacked by the Russians, and we don't know that for certain, um, it didn't really have that big of an effect. I remember you and I talking about WikiLeaks, um, the revelations, and us not being particularly surprised at what was in it. 
Mm-hmm. Like anybody who was yeah. paying attention was like, okay, we kind of already knew she was a bit corrupt, but most politicians are. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it is a complicated issue, and there's still a lot of unanswered questions out there. And and yeah, in the meantime, it's made uh, uh, you know, Russia a, a bigger adversary and so forth. But you know, to stick with like what you pointed out, Edward Snowden was more of a response. Uh, you know, that was mm-hmm. a response to what happened to Chelsea Manning. And and yeah, it is great that this is happening. I mean, I think when you said he may have saved her, I, I think it's safe to say, yeah, he did. I mean, she attempted right. suicide twice. Right. Because uh, it's just so uh, it's just so terrible what she's gone through. Right. Um, so this is huge. But yeah, I mean, he could go a step further. I, I mean, it was one of the most and I've said this numerous times on the show. One of the most disappointing things about this administration has been some of their overreach uh, in terms of personal privacy and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, some of the stuff that was leaked uh, from from AP journalists uh, a few years back, and then the the way he handled whistleblowers. I mean, that's yes. been one of the more disappointing things. Um, you know, and the drones and so. But, but th- yeah, those have I, been no, among I, I, the most absolutely. disappointing things. Absolutely have uh-huh. to agree with you on that, on, on how he treated whistleblowers. This has been one of the, the, yeah. the most, I mean, the administrations that have uh, went after whistleblowers with the most zeal. In fact, they, they should have been going after, I don't know, people who crash the economy and, and people who do actual crimes that destroyed the lives of American citizens uh, instead of going after people who actually have revealed what the government was actually doing in our name. You know, the stuff that, I mean, Edward Snowden... Uh, uncovered and Chelsea Manning uncovered at first Chelsea Manning uncovered war crimes perpetrated against people in Iraq and Afghanistan okay and 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 Edward Snowden revealed how the government is actually spying in on Americans including American troops uh, mm-hmm. and, and and collecting all of our data all of that is, is something that should have been known by the American people and shouldn't have been done in the first place but it, it, since it has been done, it should have been revealed. And did it did it destroy national security? No, we're still actually pretty safe here in America. Um, we we still have more uh, chance of getting shot by a toddler than we do a terrorist attack. So, or or getting crushed by a vending machine than a terrorist attack. So, ha- have any of these day de- uh, documents that were released hurt national security? No. And that includes Edward Snowden, but they're using this uh, as a justification. Oh no, what what Snowden released was actually worse than what Manning released. So that's why we're not that's why we're not taking an easier line with with Snowden, but why we're actually going easy on uh, easier on on Chelsea Manning. So yeah, and there and there's a few faults with that. The the biggest yeah. one being that, um, and and I think Glenn Greenwald's pointed this out. Edward Snowden didn't actually pick what all got released. He just kind of handed the information over because they're saying, well, some of that stuff was really classified to put, uh, you know, certain identities in danger and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, Edward Snowden didn't handpick that stuff to go out. He just kind of was like, this is the information and this is this is disturbing. And he handed it over. Right. And then I, I believe it was Julian Assange that then determined what went out um, and mm-hmm. what didn't uh, or, 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 or a similar entity. So Edward Snowden himself did not even make those right. actual decisions. And, you know, it's kind of so, interesting, too, uh, to cut in here about Assange, <clears throat> is that when he was releasing that kind of data, hero of Democrats and liberals everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. And so and since he turned around and released some of the, you know, a lot of the Podesta emails, suddenly now he's the villain, he's the Russian stooge. I think that's kind of a strange turnaround. And now he's sort of a Republican hero, which is which is mm. crazy. Um, I think in both instances, Assange doing the right thing, releasing information yeah. that was important to the democratic process. And if that, right. and if what, and if what Hillary Clinton or Hillary Clinton's aides and staff wrote hurt her, well, that's not his fault. That's their fault for writing this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's remained uh, dedicated to his cause. And, you know, the people that once celebrated him that are now, uh, you know, consider him an enemy and vice versa, you know, it just shows how self-interested uh, right. they are in their politics. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, look, we've been I, we've been very consistent on this issue. You know, we've both been in favor of freeing Manning, freeing Snowden. We don't think that the that the that the charges against uh, Julian Assange were 
legitimate. In fact, the rape charge, the supposed rape charge was dropped. There's something about him not using a condom. It's, it's ridiculous. And I think it's a pretty much a front for them to try to extradite Julian Assange to America for, for running WikiLeaks. And uh, <laughs> I, that's, that's, I mean, that's my view on it. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, realistically, I, I don't think Barack Obama, like, like, I don't think it would really be in the realm of possibility that we could expect Barack Obama to just completely pardon Edward Snowden. Right. Um, Unfortunately. I mean, yeah, like that's just realistically that would not happen. What he should do and what is a very, uh, a, I think, accessible way to handle it is, you know, encourage Edward Snowden to come back under the promise that it will be treated as a political offense and not as a criminal offense. Uh, meaning it will, you know, and, and I don't know all the inner verbiage, but, you know, it will be treated as a political offense that you acted in this way. And even though it was wrong, even though you violated all kinds of codes and, and standards of conduct, uh, you were acting in what you perceived to be for the best interest of the people. So it will be treated as that type of offense, mm. um, which will likely not carry any significant uh, jail sentence or anything like that, con considering what he's been through right. so far. Um, and that's what Barack Obama could and should do. But, you know, I don't know all the inner workings, like what kind of what kind of difficulties might be in place there, because, you know, you got a new administration coming in next week. So so I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I wish I, I'd love to see something happen with Snowden, too. But oh, oh I would but I, like, I kind of doubt it will. I'd love to see him go balls to the wall like, oh, oh, you know what? Snowden free. Oh yeah, Eat well it. me too. Yeah, me Eat too. It. But but I, I mean, mean like he's the, I, I realistically, I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying what I would like to see happen in a perfect world. Sure. And obviously, we don't right. live in a perfect world. But at the same time, I mean, uh, with as much criticism as we're giving President Obama, he did the right thing, and we do commend him for it. Um, and and I think I think you you'll probably agree with me, Ron, that this is the appropriate time to say this. Thanks, Obama. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.